So instead of investing any more time into this thing, we're, we're cutting it off right there. It's, it's done. What's up machine freaks? I hope you're feeling froggy fresh. We are starting the day off at the parts store. Jason's with me. Just like that, we left the part store, picked up the GS1000 from Tim's place. Jason and I are going to tackle this sucker today, hopefully gain a little bit of progress. Uh, Jason's helping me because my left hand's kind of still screwed up. So, uh, Jason, I appreciate you coming out here. <laughs> we'll just flip and send it. I know everybody wants to see the gator. I want to see the gator. Jason wants to see the gator. So that is why we're putting in the time and energy to get this thing going today. It's already running on all four cylinders now, thanks to switching out this one part. It went under this plate right here. Here is the old part. Uh, this is called the advanced timing mechanism, I do believe. Right, Jason? Mm -hmm. What had happened was either somebody changed the springs or they got lazy or something like that. It just wasn't working correctly. So I ordered a new one. It's already running better. Which means we can tune this thing further. That little part cost 25 bucks. That 25 bucks is making me a very, very happy camper. The GS1000 has stole another eight hours from Jason and I. We haven't had any progress, like all day. We've tried, it ran a little better, and then we would go to adjust something else and then it wouldn't it wouldn't go any further forward. So instead of investing any more time into this thing, we're, we're cutting it off right there. It's, it's done. We're actually going to start stripping this thing down and making it into a parts thing. I have to get my money out of it somehow, so Jason has uh, volunteered to help me strip this sucker down get this thing out of the 3D machine shop, and get it the f out of my hair. But I wanna see this gator going, you guys wanna see this gator going, Jason wants to see this gator going. So obviously we're not going to be able to do it with this Suzuki engine. I should've known, it's a Suzuki. I should've went with like a Yamaha or a Kawasaki. Actually not a Kawasaki, the Kawasaki's blown up. A Yamaha. My Suzuki runs fine. Well, <laughs> this one isn't. Not only could I not figure this thing out, Jason couldn't figure it out, and Tim couldn't figure this thing out. This thing is shot. It's cursed. The parts. We are making progress. Here's our parts pile at the moment. We have the headlight, we have used carburetors, we got brand new calipers, we got brand new starters. Jason's working on our last thing and that's the front wheel because those calipers supposedly are worth money. So this thing is going to be quite gutted. She deserves to be gutted. She wasted a lot of my time and a lot of my money. Feel those bearings. Probably crunchy. Yeah, they're, they're crunchy. shot. Crunchy. We are no longer using the GS1000 anymore. We'll move on to a different engine. Uh, the Gator project in its entirety is not over. Just this engine is, is no longer going to be in the Gator. Maybe, hopefully we can increase the thing to 1100 cc's or even 1200 cc's, uh, but this 1000 cc will not see the Gator at all. I still do have a lot to update you guys on. It's just getting late in the night, so I don't want to keep talking and keep talking and prolonging this upload. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Jason made out like a bandit. How many parts you got? Like five or six? He, he stole my spark plugs. He, spooled, he stole the holy handle. He's got this rear fender assembly. He made out well. You guys got some entertainment for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. 
Unlike the GS1000, keep moving forward until tomorrow. 3D Machines out.